Hello everyone and welcome back to the official NIIT YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Bo AI and whether or not it is an amazing all-in-one tool or is this a tool that should be designated for one certain task. So with that in mind let's jump right into Bo AI. So to get started head over to Bo.com and then click on continue with Google, Apple or sign up with your email address. So for now, I'm going to proceed with Google because it provides us a very quick and easy sign up for Po. Now, once we have signed up, I'm going to click, I'm going to select my account. And once we have signed up over here, uh, we are just going to allow it to have some basic access to our basic information, including your name and your email. And you can just click on continue over here. Now, once you're signed up on Po, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. Now you can po now you can use Po with their desktop application if you want to. And you can see if you click here on the left, this is your general menu bar. And when you open this up, you can see the explorer section over here. Now, once I click on this explorer section, within the explorer, you will find different applications and different use cases. So if you want to build a general assistant, you have their assistant. And if you want to build an app creator, you have an app creator. You have your script bot creator. You have your Gemini 3 Pro. You have Claude Opus 4.5. You have GPT 5.1 Instant. You have Claude Sonnet 4.5. You have GPT 5.1 Codex. You have Grok 4 and many other AI models. So all of these AI models are available to you. Now you might say, hey, if these are all the AI models that are available to me, then why would I need to use Po? Well, the reason why you might need to use Po instead of having to use all of these AI models separately is because this provides you with an all-inclusive AI space. I don't have to create five or six different accounts and sign up and then separately work on my projects and build my logo on one app and then try to do my task on the other. So this makes it easier for you to combine all of your AI spaces and AI tasks. So we have a bunch of things like app generation, image generation, video generation, featured, game apps, funny, hobbies, game bots, learning, translation, professional, programming, AI, and many more. So we are just going to proceed and I want to go, I want to go back I'm going to go back over here. Now you can see that you see a create button on the top. So I'm just going to click on the create button over here. Now I might have to make up my profile before in order to get started. So once I'm done with that, I can proceed with this. Now you can create bots in a few different ways. So you can create images by defining a visual style, video generation bots, Canvas apps, server bots, role play bots, as well as prompt bots. Now I want to create a role play bot. So I'm just going to click on role play bot over here. Now I have to select a name for my role play bot. So I'm going, I'm going to type Cleopatra 3004. And it's up to you, whatever name you want to go with. And now the description. So description is somewhere where you're going to describe the functionalities to set people's expectation. So I'm just going to type that a counseling bot because that's what I'm looking for right now. And after that, I'm going to proceed with the base model. So once you click over here, you will see that there are a lot of base models, including the suggested model by Po, as well as the models that Po thinks are appropriate for you. So for now, I'm just going to go with the suggested model that is Claude Haiku 3. And then when I go down, I can see the character definition over here. So after that, after all of this, you're going to define a character, which is the most important part of using post character building or bot building. Now, obviously, you're going to define how the AI bot is going to speak and interact with the user. So you need to be as specific as possible and you need to be as clear as possible. So you want to click on the view best practices for prompts over here, and you will see their best practices that are suggested. 
and you guys can see here are some examples that you could go with now for now i'm just going to go back and i'm going to proceed over here so i'm going to type you are a counseling bot you provide unconditional positive regard and support you do not judge and i'm going to improve my spelling over here counseling you do not judge and i can also say you only support and understand and you do identify bad behavior now you can also use markdowns to get the bot to better comprehend more complicated instructions such as rules or you know context if you want now i want to add something to this that um you suggest ways to improve a user's life and with that i'm going to proceed and i can add the knowledge source over here as well so this is what you find in a lot of different tools where you can add the knowledge source so this can be for a company information especially if you are building bot for your website or for your company which needs to have some information about your business or about your company so then you can add the knowledge source over here and this provides you a really customized bot then i have a greeting message over here as well so i'm not going to add a greeting message and when you click on advanced over here you have multiple options like suggested replies random markdown content and custom temperature now custom temperature refers to how creative a bot can be and higher values are going to create more unpredictable and more creative replies whereas low creativity or temperature values are going to give more consistent replies now if you go down to settings uh you can also decide if you want this bot to be publicly accessible to everyone then you also have related recommendation or show prompt in your app profile now after you're done with all of that you can just go ahead and click on publish over here now once you click on publish click on continue without editing now from here i can go ahead and when you click on here you can see the rates for this as well so the available points the standard first message and the input bot message chat history and then chat discount and people can subscribe to your bot if you want now keep that in mind that different models are going to be using different amount of credit so if you have you know a bot over here so this is our hiq bot right now so i'm going to chat with my counseling bot and i'm going to type something like hi i am having a bad day and it's going to generate a response appropriate response for me and as you can see it generated a very supportive kind of text for me and i'm going to continue by saying all of my friends are moving on in life and i am here doing nothing so let's see what kind of suggestion it has about that now that's a bot reply is that i understand the feeling of being left behind can be really tough it's normal to feel frustrated or envious when it seems like you all your friends are progressing blah 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 and this is a bot that you created without coding now if i don't want to see my own bot and i want to explore some of the bots other people have created so i can go directly into the explore button and then i'm going to go over let's suppose i'm going to go over my image generation and over here i can just select anything i want to so for instance i'll just go with ideogram and i'm going to go with a basic prompt like this and it's going to generate me the image okay so i don't have enough credits for this to proceed with but yeah you can always subscribe and make it do whatever task you want to do and again as you know you can handle multiple tasks with them video generation image generation audio generation everything 
in a singular AI and that is poor AI for you guys. Now, if you like this video, just hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and tell me what tutorials do you want me to cover in the next video. Thank you so much for joining.